Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where what you're witnessing right now is what looks like a train station in the desert. Last episode we finally expanded to the kind of the west coast and we built this big beautiful train line. It's currently in the middle of uh, Los Angeles, uh, Las Vegas and Fresno and San Diego and it kind of has a stop all the way down to Phoenix and down to her, I can't even, I can, and I can never pronounce this right, Hermosillo. There we go. And uh, this is the beginning and the first set of infrastructure that's going to enable us to kind of connect and grow on the west coast of the United States of America. I built my distribution hub over here where we're going to link up an airport which is going to fly from here all the way over to here to distribute hopefully goods and passengers which is going to be quite exciting. Now, oh, that's, that's good timing. We got a brand new plane as well. Now this one over here because it's really difficult to get a train system going through LA or San Diego or even Las Vegas, we're utilizing this one uh, to serve all three and we can have vehicles running to and from them to kind of distribute the goods. So whatever it kind of comes in here gets dropped off there and then distributes evenly. We're going to also set up an extension from this that will stop at Fresno and then stop up here which the train station here would also be a kind of distribution between Eureka and San Francisco as well. But we'll just see how it goes. We'll just ultimately see how it goes. We've got lots of work that we need to do, and it's going to be quite exciting. So, guys, if you are enjoying this series so far and you want to see more of this, then please make you sure you smash the like button down below. And subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, today, I would quite like to get planes flying, but we're going to think of the logistics behind it. What and how and who are we going to be kind of bringing over and taking back that way uh, to begin with? Now, the obvious and easiest thing to do would to be passengers, solely because all these cities require food machines. Now, we have a, uh, a factory there that can produce machines, and we also have food over here. So it's not that difficult to kind of, you know, create food machines for this generic area. So the other case would then be, well, if I can do that, there's no need to bring the food and machines over from here. Which, you know, that's pretty good. There's, you know, there's not a problem with that. Um, so it might be a case that we kind of look towards doing uh, passengers first. But then again, at the same time, I don't have any of these systems up and running just yet. So I could bring food and machines over and just kind of make it a little bit more uh, easier for these places to grow. But we're going to have to lay down the foundation. So what I'm going to do is we're going to extend the train line from here up to Fresno and we'll end it just there. I'm thinking about utilizing Eureka and uh, kind of uh, what you call it over here, San Francisco, uh, to pretty much be in uh, shipping ports to bring the goods down. And then we'll just kind of see how it goes from that point uh, right there. Let me just pause the game real quick. Because um, I don't want too much time to kind of, kind of, you know, slightly pass by. So with that said, right, I could bring the goods over and then distribute evenly. But I need to get the infrastructure laid out. So we'll get a train station from Los Angeles to Fresno. We'll end it there. Because it's quite important to end it up here so we can kind of connect to the food, which will bring it all down. We'll set up a, um, a, a system where we can have vehicles going from Las Vegas, LA, San Diego to this main hub just here. And then from that, I think we're going to be good to go. We'll set up a passenger route. This is going to be quite exciting. So we'll keep it all in pause for just a minute because I am going to end up deleting some of these cities. So we need to make sure that we kind of uh, get this all rocking and rolling first. We, what we'll do then, we'll get all this set up, and then we can finally get the planes in. So I'm going to run this down in a straight line, which is down to here. And then run this down to there. Sole reason being, I can get my train station here, and hopefully, right, it's enough to kind of connect the city. So we're going to we're gonna kind of preempt where the roads are going to be for Fresno right now. So bringing you down to here. I mean, I could connect it there just to kind of keep that junction alive bringing you down to here and I reckon we have another connection there while bringing this down to here so the more connections we get the more likely we're gonna be to kind of have the connectability to the city that's the whole gist of it so if I go to buildings right now and I'm not gonna kind of like say this is the end of the end for this area as far as the train line is gonna run so what I'll do I'll implement in a um, kind of a side station is it called a side station well it's just a normal station isn't it we'll start with passenger and this is what we need to make sure that we do the most of we need to make sure that it connects to all of this now we don't really need to connect to this 
I'm more likely to connect it up to the factory because when we kind of ship the food out of here, that's going to be more important. So I've got to also make sure that we have a good radius for connection, which we're not really picking up too much of Fresno, uh, Fresno, Fr Fresno right now. So it might be a case of where I kind of move it inwards a bit to try and get that connectivity. So if I delete all this beautiful row that I've just placed down, and it's just trying to find where the best position for it is to really utilize and grow the city. So if I get the road back up again, and the road came down here before, so what if I choose, for example, um, what if I chose like, like this here to kind of run straight across? It will all make sense in just a moment. It will all make sense in just a moment. Delete you. Delete you. And then... So again, it doesn't... Why is this? This is a passenger station, isn't it? It just feels like it does not want to pick up any of my passenger areas. I mean, it picks up a couple. But I think it's all also down to the road network as well, making sure that this is fully connected. So if I run that through here... Because the city will grow. You know, the city will grow. All right, bring that to there. If I ran this this way. All right, just, just, just bear with me a second, okay? <laughs> just bear with me a second. It's quite painful, this is. It's quite painful. Right, to there. So you pick up a little bit of residential, which is more than adequate for me right now. It's more than adequate. We'll kind of pull it just here. But, oh, hang on. Hold on, guys, hold on. But I'm not doing the main thing though, is connecting to this this area here. So if I ran this going straight up, do I also pick up? Okay, yes I do. So how far can I push it down where, you know what, I'm going to go for a smaller platform. Right, there is going to be enough, because I also need to implement the underground tunnel section. That's going to be a headache on its own, okay? Don't even get me started on that. Don't even get me started on that. So, actually, you know what? I'm probably going to have to implement them now just to kind of see what my uh, ability is. Right, this, technically, right, this should be the biggest headache that we're going to have to go through today. This is, after, this is going to be the biggest headache I go through today. So, even though this is going to be the end area for now, I was, oh, we can't go underneath that. Oh, guys, the fun that I'm going to have. Right, how how much can I until I have to can't tilt no more? Well, then again, if that can tilt like there, there's nothing stopping me doing the train tracks going that way around, is there? Like if I went to here with these, there's nothing stopping me doing that. In reality, is there? It's just this side. So track constructions. Flip this right round. So if I add it in there, does it get it kind of early on? Should be all good, right? <laughs> oh, I just want to cry. Uh, okay, let me just edit this. Because this is taking now so much longer than I it needs to be. Also, I've got to make sure that this train track is also electric. I forgot to kind of upgrade that as well. So we need four train tracks. There we go. Your standard procedure, mate. Your standard procedure. We need platforms. We do bam, 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 bam. I was keeping normal passenger here. It hasn't got to be too much of the cargo. We can kind of get away with it, but I'm thinking on this side. We'll bulk it up a bit more because in reality, we're going to be pulling goods from over here. So, all I gotta do then is the miscellaneous. The underground section, and we'll do cargo building. Can I squeeze a cargo building on? Yep, why not? And do I allow Fresno to grow on this side as well? Let's find out. Let's find out together. So, we'll go for a smallish one. We'll go for like there, that's fine. And then we'll run the road like this. All the way down. Wait, that road there is not even connected. What's going on there, guys? What's going on there? 
right to there and we'll leave it like that so I, it is a bit of a pain but there's not really much I can generally do just yet so we're gonna wiggle all this through and then that's where we'll begin the connection to then go straight up there if I utilize it I might not I might not is the big thing so we have to merge these together in your standard system in just a moment but I reckon oh, I've, this is the annoying bit I've got to make it actually continue as far as we can and I've got to get that connected into one as two as well oh my goodness me guys this is this is painful this is absolutely painful right now this is torture for your boy absolute torture right if I turn this this way right I wonder what can I do here so if I placed for example you there Is that enough? To, oh my, it's not enough. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Sonic. Don't do that. Right, I'm going to push that a little bit further. Oh, it's just not going to work. Right, I'm going to have to do the kind of connection underground. So if I bring that and bend it around to here, if I bring that and bend around to there, right, if I bring that in, and also bring that in, we're now into... standard procedure mode right now straight forward straight forward we then need to crisscross so we're now doing all this underground which keep it underground <laughs> keep it underground mate now it doesn't really matter where we kind of run it I've just got to bring it to somewhat pop up here there's a little section there where it kind of clears through which I don't mind too much just got to be a bit careful right there we go and hopefully I can run this now pretty straight oh this is a headache this is already beginning to be a headache I'm gonna make this on this side so I'm going to run this as far as we can, keeping it in a straightish line. Run this one all the way out. So we make then this come out to about here, that to about there. We'll get this to run in. To about there. That's run into there. This merges in. That merges in. There to there. That's to there. To there. This is a this is effort, isn't it? To there. So there, I right, make this go a little bit further out, and then we do a crisscross just here. So that does exactly what I need to do. But now looking at where it's all placed, we'll delete this and we'll get them all connected up now, and it should be nice and smooth. Right, this should all run nice and smooth right now. So you obviously straight down to there. You straight down to there. I kind of like where it kind of jumps out just there, very over so slightly. Because you get to see it come through. If you had a steam train, you'll see all the smoke pump plummeting out. So this is the hand that we dealt with, and this is the destruction that we have to kind of cause. It's not easy to build over on the west coast. Let's all be honest right now. It's not easy. We gotta try our best. And, and this is what is this is what's coming from this. So we've managed to, if we've managed to do the join underground, what's stopping us from doing the join here on this? So if I bought you in there, and then I bought you in there, there's nothing really stopping me, is there? Right, I'm gonna bend that now slightly around. It's, it's again, it's not the, the the most perfect system. As long as not, there's not too much curvature here, 
There we go. That all then takes place there. Right, it works. That's all I can say. It kind of works. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to run a passenger line going all the way down to here and back. Once we've got the passenger line set up, we'll then set up some passenger routes via vehicles from LA, San Diego, and Las Vegas to here. So then the passenger line will pick up people for these three cities on the train line. Then we'll set up a, another passenger line that goes from here to over there. Then we'll set up another passenger line that brings people from either Charlotte or Washington uh, to here. Right, you see where this is now going? Uh, and then we'll, we'll set up our first plane route. So we'll transport passengers first. Then we'll start doing some food to grow the cities. And then some machines as well. So, I am going to have to now drop down all the signal stuff. This is also not going to work out too well. You can do it underground, which is blowing my mind. And before I do get it wrong... We're doing the signals on the right side, yes. Yes, 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 yes. As if it is truly in the United States of America. Right, from there. Right, I, I know you all love my signals. Don't even lie to me right now. You all love my signals. Right, there to there. That's as far as I take that one, isn't it? You do it after the crisscross. So one just there and there. Do I do one? Oh, I do one here and here as well on the uh, the bypass route. Because you never know. Right, got to do one before they all split here. I know one. I know it makes the the one on the left kind of um, you know pointless, but it's what I've got to do. Because you never know in what periods and moments you're going to need it. Right, straight into here. We've got a bypassing route. Choo chewing through. Can I not put signals on this? What's going on? Oh no, that's classed as a um, going down the hill system, isn't it? Yes, I forgot that's underground. Right, there to there. And then just before it does turn into that ramp going up. And then we'll do one here and here. Last one there and there. And that should be it, right? That's the end. Yes, that is then the end. So let me set up a route for this. Uh, we'll do a new line. Starting Fresno. It will be passenger. 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 And then passenger again. And then passenger again. So making sure it's all working correctly. Comes in on that station. Skadoodles back out both platforms here which is perfect down here it's not on both platforms here so we need to make sure that it is so uh, this is the phoenix route so on this one going back oh no flip them over so that's number two that's number one so that's perfect and then coming all the way down here to hermosillo that's fine as well that would that would do exactly what we need to do also guys named all the routes named all the routes Yay! Are you proud of me, guys? Are you proud of me right now? <laughs> so that would do exactly what I need to do. But at the same time, I don't have the ability to bring these three cities in just yet. So what I reckon we do then is we hook up the the train depot. Where should I put the train depot? Train depot here. Um. Do you know what? I'll just build it here. Rotate this. <coughs> As I choke. Um, and then just bring it into here like this. Because that's all, ultimately all it's going to need to do. Just put a little signal just there as it comes out. And let's build a train for it right now. So we'll go diesel. We'll go for this train. Top speed 117. And then wagons, passenger... Um, so that one can carry 19. And it gives us 112 miles an hour. This one can carry 100, uh, 19 as well, 112. Are these both the same? Let's just go for the All-American gold sand, Golden Sand. Just because we're in America right now. 
So I'm going to put the capacity as 114. I feel like that is a lot for what is actually needed for this. So line one, as it's now going to be known. And let's just put it into play mode then. So you're not really going to get anything utilizing on this station. There's going to be no point just yet. So we're going to now sort out all the road systems as well for this. And, and we'll really start to see this take in full advantage of all these cities when we get the planes initially pumped in as well. So normally, what we've done before in the past is we've bought the food and the machines, then we've moved the passengers to grow the cities to make more demand for the passenger line. This West Coast, I'm doing the complete opposite. I'm moving passengers, and I don't really have much demand because the cities aren't really that big. So let's set this up then. We need to go to road then and then buildings. And there's two variations. There's a bus and tram stop, and there's also a truck stop. We are going to need both. Uh, and we're also going to need to do it on both sides as well. So, let's see. What would be the best way to do this? Should I split in the middle? Like there, and then split in the middle here. And then, building-wise, we rotate this. And then build you there. And then build you there. And we can just expand and make them bigger as time goes on. And where would be the easiest way to kind of connect this in? Just coming straight through here in a tunnel to pop back up. Do you reckon that's going to be the easiest there for LA? Because the road goes all the way down to San Diego as well. So we can incorporate that on one bus loop. It just depends on how the street wants to deal with this. Because I need to get it up to a level that is... That makes sense. <coughs> Which that could do us justice. Um, maybe do it on a bend though. So. Coming up to about there. Going straight to here. And then straight in. Seems reasonable right? Not too much stress, not too much drama. Now, it does mean if you want to go to LA to Las Vegas, you have to get off here, go through the train stations, get to there to onto a new bus to kind of scoodle through. I'm going to force everybody to do that because it also means that, I, you know, I'm kind of keeping them forced to go through the station. So everyone's got to go to the station no matter where you got to go to. So that's going to be like our big interchange. So for here, then, we're going to have one bus route that's all free. And then one bus route going up to Las Vegas. Now, Las Vegas is the interesting one. So if I bring this road going... Let's just bring it to there for now. Um, we, I'm going to utilize this road to go for the little cavern here, which I think will be quite cool. So have a little bend on this. And I think this will be pretty cool to kind of see my vehicles going up and through the, like, the big mountains. As if it is kind of like real life. Right. Gotta make sure that it does follow the terrain slightly. There we go. Right, I think what we'll do, because it's going to be a quite a big drop, we'll terrain it ever so slightly to smoothen it all out. Just so it doesn't create that bridge that it's trying to achieve right now. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I don't want is the bridge being created. All right, that's going to be a bit funky just there. So again, it's a run still on the top of the hill. Bring it down, and then we'll just use the uh, the the tool here to smoothen it all out, as if so it kind of feels like it does follow the uh, the terrain. I think that will work wonders for us right now. Just move it through all of here as well. Going all through. So that would be quite cool to see our buses tearing through that as well. So that would be glorious. Now, I'm quite well aware that if I do a triple bus route here, so from there down to here to here and then back up, the buses could fully load up in LA, get down to here, not load anybody, and go straight up. So I might do a back and forth where it kind of picks up LA, picks up San Diego, picks up LA, do it that way instead. Um, obviously we'll have quite a few buses on them routes so I just need to now implement uh, bus stops so bus and tram stop 
the majority of the residents live over in this side. So I reckon we have our bus stop just here for LA. And then just here for San Diego. Now, it would be also good as well because we've invested money elsewhere to invest money in these places so we can... If I invest money into the city to grow the city, it's only going to benefit my business. So if I flatten big chunks of land here, it just means that San Diego has got more space to now grow. Same with LA. I don't want to flatten it too much to the point where it does not make any more sense. But just give a few more little areas where it could potentially grow, gain from a few more residents, then it means more passengers for me. So, new line. There to there. Simple route. They could walk it. That's how simple it is. Then there to there. But at the same time, people might want to go from here to San Diego to LA. So I'm forcing them to go up to here as well. So there's not really a one solution that you know, works for all. Actually, before I do that next route, I've got to then do my Las Vegas um, little system. So if I play... Actually, if I get the road... They're not going to like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. To tear through there. Building-wise, if I have a stop, then just here. So, or not add a new line. That line free there. Add station, so... Add in the station here. And then the other stop then just there. As simple as that is right now, them three cities are connected. Now, this won't be the final kind of system for this. This is just very, very basic right now. It's just to kind of create the connections to get my aircraft to fully work and fully load and fully land. So, how is the train currently doing right now? Is there anybody on board? It has five people on board. It's going to be very, very expensive. So, you just wait until I got the full connections all up and running. This is going to go through the roof, these routes. Uh, right, so let's get our road depot on the go. And, ooh, that's going to be, that's an interesting one. i got to do two road depots in reality, don't I? So, if I road, road depot just there, road depot just there. And we'll do the uh, cargo versions on the other side as well. So, buy new vehicles for here. Passenger. So we'll go for this one and then we'll, we'll buy three for this. No, we'll buy four for this route. Which it's line two. And then this route over here. I'll buy two. And there we go. So that automatically makes those cities now even more connected. Which is very exciting. So we'll have a fast forward then. Give them time to kind of uh, do a couple of uh, loops, collect some passengers, all that jazz. In Fresno right now, we've got 27 passengers waiting. So this is already going to be quite a lucrative route. It's very simple, very, very basic right now. Doesn't really do much. But now we have to do some configurations. So on this uh, distribution hub, no, no, sorry, this is not a distribution hub. It's kind of like a mini one. This one has passenger um, stations. We don't have passenger stations on these, and this is where we need the aircraft to come to. So we kind of have to configure this then, and in reality, I only really need one, one platform to have it. So what I could do, I could maybe treat the outer platform or this inner platform. We'll treat this inner platform to have it. So we have to delete these buildings as well, unfortunately. So we'll have only this side here to be my passenger route, because this is where the planes are going to come in from this side. Passengers got on there easier. Make the trains come in, e you know, in and out a lot easier too. Life will be glorious. Uh, fingers crossed. So, bam, bam, bam. Now I might throw down the odd cargo building, just to kind of switch it up a little bit. So now we have a passenger stop, so I can, planes come in, passengers will go to this, the platform, and I can then transport them down to here. Great stuff. So I'm also going to need the exact same thing on this distribution hub over here as well. Now this one's a little bit difficult because we already have uh, goods coming in into one side. 
So we're going to have to switch it up. We're going to have to move this route here that comes through, which is... We have food for the savannah right now. We have to move it on to... On the Pittsburgh one. Number three. And then we have this one over here. It comes to Pittsburgh here. Move that to number three as well. Thus keeping this front side free for the passenger train to come in. That's just literally how we're going to have to do it. So we're going to have to kind of configure this then. There's a lot going on in this uh, distribution hub. There's a lot going on. And we'll see that big change happening as we bring more vehicles over to this side as well. So, bam, 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 bam. Passenger building, how big can we go? So I'm going to have to kind of s configure the road as well. So we'll keep it nice and simple. We'll, we'll bring the road a little bit closer. We'll throw in some cargo buildings. There we go. So now we've got the ability to bring passengers in, which is great. We'll delete this road. And then we shall set up that little strip just there. I think we might be ready to go, guys, to build our airports. I think we might be ready to go. So, I won't do the routes coming to the actual distribution hubs to begin with just yet. We'll implement the airport first. But how many people are now waiting at these uh, stops? So, there's 10 at this stop. There's a fair few just there. But they should be coming often enough. Now, people... You know what? This is considering what's going on right now. There's going to be quite a few people on this route. Where's the train? Train's there. So it's all. I mean, now it's only just now making more money than it's it's spending. So as this comes in, what's it saying? That has made over half a million. Finances are looking pretty good. You can't lie right now. Financially, and it's only going to get better for that train. It's only going to get better. Oh, but he's got hovergrafts. Nice. Right, so. Airports. Now, they're huge. Let's be honest. They're going to be huge. So, we need to think about, you know, the long run. The bigger picture. And that bigger picture is, we got to go big. Okay. It's, gonna, it's also going to include cargo as well. Although I could build a separate airport for it on the other side. Do I have the space to do it over here to have like a, a separate one on the opposite side? I legit could. So, we might do that. I don't know. We might do that. So, this is the big one. Uh, terminals. There's two terminals. Landing direction right and left. Does it matter at this point? Probably not. But if I had then you here. Because if there's a lot of planes landing, I could, you know, separate them between passenger and cargo. So if I have a passenger terminal just here, configure this. Right, miscellaneous. There we go. How do I extend the uh, the runway? Is it not possible? We've got our passenger terminal down. We've got the main building down. The cargo, the hangar. We've got all that. Miscellaneous. How do I extend the uh, the airport then? Is it not possible at the minute? Hmm. I always thought you could. Or am I just being silly? I don't know. I always thought you could. I always thought you could. Um, right. So, passenger airfield. There's, there is a difference, isn't there? Yeah. Right. Rotati this. So, build that just there. And boom. Boom. 
So this has already got the stuff in, I assume. Is that just picking on what side you want it on? Doesn't really change anything, does it? No. So let me just extend this road a bit further down. Very good, very good. So we can actually go for it now, by the way. We can actually go for it now, but again, there's still a few things we are kind of technically missing. <laughs> so let me first get the route set up. So from here to where is it over here that is the airport all up and running if i did they, did they swing in okay yes yes they do this is going to be crazy this route is going to be crazy okay so i could buy the plane now do you know what we'll buy the plane now we'll get the plane flying passenger and we'll go for this Boeing right now. With capacity of 20. What's the biggest one I, c I can carry? 20. That one is 21, but I'd rather have a Boeing 737. Right, let's go for... Let's just go for one for now, because it's going to be very, very expensive. Line four. Now, right now... This this is my first plane, by the way, guys. Now, can we get the hangar? I don't have any passengers having the ability to transport over here just yet. I, I Zero. So now we've got to set up a new line, passenger line from here into here. Right, that's what I've got to do next. So... I don't know whether it's worth it to maybe switch one of these stations up. No, we'll keep it to that for now. Uh, so that's pretty much all I need to do. We're going to train on this. So... Diesel passengers. What well, you know? What because only twenty passengers coming at a time. I will reduce this to thirty-eight. It hasn't this? I don't feel like this needs to be a big train. So this is line five. Have that on the go. Now it still won't work just yet until I set this one up over here. Now I've got the choice of either Washington or the Charlotte route here. Now. The Charlotte route is the one where two lines crisscross. So it makes sense for it to be here. Because if I did it in Washington, these guys here have to get into the other route to go up to there to come back down and in. So having the route here makes more sense than anywhere. So from Charlotte in here to the passenger one just there. Nice and simple. So I don't have any other train thingy me jiggy train depot i have one over there but i'll just utilize this one now again i don't know how often we're gonna have people wanting to go back and forth so i'll do 57 on this one we'll keep it nice and simple i can always expand and upgrade it as time goes on so that there is everything that needs to be done to have passengers flying from the well you could technically say from the east coast to the west coast and you can see my beautiful plane there flying just here Hold on, how do I zoom in on it again? Oh yeah. Leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when we'll be back again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful right now. So the main thing will be then, see how many people now want to travel that way. And that will determine on how much demand and how much capacity we kind of throw on it. Now, this has been very expensive. I ain't gonna lie. It's been super expensive. So expensive, I probably spent so much money. But not as much money as I originally spent last episode. That was a lot. Um, but we've spent quite a lot recently. So, we should... I mean, we could start to see some big money being made. Now, while we do have a little fast forward, these cities now, then, are they starting to grow? So, yes, they are. After we slightly destroyed them, they are starting to bounce back and grow again. Some we destroyed more than others. <laughs> like her, her, her Marcelo. I can never say it. We destroyed the residential quite heavily. Damn. Now, what about San Diego? They're growing quite a bit in the little area that we kind of reclaimed for them. So that's good to see. What about Las Vegas? We haven't. Well, we, we we did kind of technically destroy a little bit from them, but they also have the ability now to transport as well. And there's a lot of people now here waiting. So line five is my brand new one. 
it is going to be a while before we see this transform. But hopefully it works out pretty well. It's Because there's so many moving parts involved in this, it's going to take a while before we actually see passengers getting over here. It really is. So where's the passenger train one? Has that made it all the way around yet? Oh, new carriages. Nice. Well, where's our passenger train and it's meant to be going through all of this? You're not it. Are you it? Aha, there it is. It's got one person on board. This is going to be the first person potentially to fly across the country right now. So let's get ready for this. Let's get ready for this, guys. So it'll be coming through the mountain when it comes. There we go. It's just coming out just now. So we're just playing the waiting game. Signals are working beautifully right now. Everyone's taking their turns, taking their times. And that one lone dude is now about to fly first class up in the sky and the champagne living the life in the fast lane. But he won't change. He is glamorous. Right, did he go over here? We've got to wait for him to walk out right now and go over to the station, don't we? There he is, there he is. She. I'm so sorry I assumed your gender. I am so sorry that I just... Sorry, her name is Sophia. I assumed her gender. I am so sorry. Um, but she now will be waiting. So just give her a moment and we should see one head pop up here. Unless she works in the building. I mean, that's also a possibility. Um... How long do I have to wait before... There we go. There she's now in. So, line here. Plane. There's nobody on board. But it is coming in slowly. We, oh, we get to see it land. Go oh, yes! We get to see it land. So, it's made no money whatsoever. So, Sophia right now is literally the first woman to go cross-country. This is exciting, guys. This is a momentous occasion. This truly is a momentous occasion. She is now on board. And the plane will start flying. So this is also going to be interesting as well, because we're now about to witness how much money we make just by transporting one human on this plane journey. And this will give us an idea, then, of how much we could potentially make. So off the plane now goes. E I E I E I O S. And now we go flying. It's quite exciting, this is, isn't it? It is quite exciting. So we'll stick with it for now, then. How much have we. Ex last year's expenditure was 1.4 million. It's a lot of money to uh, run a an airline company. And this is just one plane. Think of the rest. Damn. But it's making its move right now. It goes really quick though, over 300 miles an hour. And there's, I can see there's an actual somebody waiting down below to get onto the plane. So we're going to start turning right now, guys. We get a slight glimpse to our right side of Las Vegas. Okay, that mountain there is not great. Do you know what? Actually, that's quite a cool little marker point, isn't it? For when you're coming into land. The views. The views, boys. So how much do we make them from one passenger? Here we go, guys. Here we go. We're about to find out. We're about to find out one passenger. How much? 
nearly 150 grand. Now seven people are getting on board. Yep, I can see it's making big cash. <laughs> That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of people. That is ridiculous. Holy moly. And this is just the start. We might need another train on this route as well. This is just the start right now. But also at the same time, we're going to see so many people wanting to go back and forth right now. It's going to be a little bit chaotic. Where's the where's the one that carries the passengers right now? Is it you? Okay, still not too many just yet. It's It hasn't gone enough just yet for them to kind of understand what is now possible. But we're now technically connected via the air. So what we need to do next then, and we'll start setting this up in the next episode, is start growing the the food plant and the machine plant to start delivering to these cities to make them bigger and better and stronger than what they ever are right now. I don't think I'm going to run, right, the train line any further. I think I might just kind of kill it off just there. And we'll create a shipping system coming down the west coast and we'll bring them into Los Angeles. And then we can use Los Angeles as a beautiful hub to transport people over to here. I think that'll be the way to go forward. I think that will be the way to go forward. And that makes me quite excited. Because I, I do want to utilize ships more. And it will give me more of a reason to do it. I'm very excited, guys. Very excited right now. So, we'll see what happens. Only time will tell how glorious this will be. Right, has that plane landed over here yet? No, where is the plane? Can I see it? There it is. So, so if I can even select it, there you go. That plane's got seven people currently on board. Seven people currently on board. So seven times 150. I mean, I can't do the math. That's got to be a million, right? That's got to be at least one million. I think so. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. My calculations could be incorrect. My calculations could be very, very incorrect right now. But plane's just now landing. Nobody's crewing waiting here right now. That train hasn't got back in time. Or it has. People just haven't walked over just yet. Oh no, people are walking over now. I've just seen them. Yo, just under a million. Let's go. This airline's going to be very profitable soon. We just need the trains bringing more people over. So that line six has got six people now currently waiting. So we just, we, what we need to do is we need to grow the cities now more to give them more demand. That's all we need to do at this point. That's all we need to do. But it is slowly happening. It is slowly, slowly but surely now happening, guys. The East Coast cities are getting, starting to get big and beautiful. And we'll start doing it to the West Coast cities as well. And we'll eventually do some more expansions too. But we finally did it. We finally got the planes all connected up and running. And that is absolutely glorious. How are how is our shipping route doing, by the way? So this little triangle route right now from Havana, Bahamas, and Miami consistently makes money, which is great to see. It's got 64 people currently on board right now. That's got to make a big chunk of change, right, coming in over here. But I don't know how well the other one's doing. I don't think the other one's doing too well. Where are you going? You out of here? Okay, bye. It was nice to know you. <laughs> It was nice to know you, to know you nice. Uh, where's the other one then? It's just here. Now this one is, I fully know it's going to struggle to make money. It creeps up every so often, but I just need these places to grow a bit more. Uh, and to make them grow, I need to deliver them the goods to grow. Is what I need to do. So that again will happen with time. That will happen with time. So my current routes then. Um, balance. You see what's making good cash. What's not making good cash. 
this line six, which is the route that goes from Charlotte to our new distribution, that's making the least amount of money. The coal route to Pittsburgh. Why is this one making so much, so little money? Coal route managed the line to DC Exchange. I don't know how. It's got like a ton of coal over here right now. Where's the trains at? Did I just catch in an awkward moment where it weren't making too much money? But then again, when you think about it, the sheer lengths they've got to go to, I could literally do a small little bypass here for them. How are these places looking anyway? When's the next delivery coming in? That's wood. There's the coal. Okay, so there's a coal delivery about to come in anyway. It's all just kind of backed up. So they're getting plenty of wood, which is good to see. We see more distributions now happening. They're getting the goods. Obviously a little bit low on coal right now, but the coal is just about to be delivered. And over here for the machines then, we still need more planks, which are also about to be delivered too. Where's the first train for that? Just here. So that's coming in as well. No stress, no worries about that. Start producing more machines. But um, it's, it's, it's a battle that we're always constantly fighting. It is a battle that we're constantly fighting. So money right now, that just made quite a big chunk of change. It's got 13 people on board, so that's going to make even more. That's going to make over a million going back right now, which is good to see. So it is slowly happening for us, guys. It is slowly happening. We'll take some times. But we've just in the previous year made 156 million in income. So I'm going to say this right now. We ain't doing too shabby. We ain't. I mean, there's a lot of work still to do. And we're going to fine tune a lot of areas. But we ain't doing too shabby. If I do say so myself. We will end it here, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye.